Hey there guys, this is Ignite the Fire. Welcome back to a brand new episode of my Skylar's Giants Giant Lock. The um, series where I go through Skylar's Giants playing with only the eight original Giants. And whenever an element of the area changes, I must swap out the Giant which rep represents the element, and I cannot swap out again until the element of the area changes once again, that is. And now it seems like Flynn wants to uh, interrupt us as always, not cool of him. But yeah, let's not forget the elbow drop! with Mr. Trio right here is going to be started off uh, for this episode which is episode number five so we're going to head out naturally for chapter five known as Glacier Gully which I'm pretty sure I mentioned previously but if I didn't what matters is that I mentioned it now isn't that basically what I just said of course we are let's get into this giant lock without further ado and why are we playing the giant lock on Skylar's Giants well because the name of the game is literally Skylar's Giants that's why <laughs> Anyway, you know the first what happens when a giant is defeated in battle is that they are considered dead, so I cannot use them again throughout the lock, so let's be sure to avoid such things, nevertheless. Especially with Turex, now that he's got his awesome cowboy hat considering he's Sheriff Turex. And man, the animations on this thing are quite, um, glitchy right now. It seems like it keeps on freezing in place. Freezing in a freezing level, I suppose. And yep, Cyclops is a pretty brain mashy indeed, nevertheless. Or brain mushy, I should say. Okay, we can see it right here. Do we have to park so far away? Like, honestly, that's what these guys do. They always park so far away. Why can we not park closer to the actual place where we need to be? It's a bit silly, don't you think? Okay, so we head down here and we get straight into the water element. Oh, we're going to bother swapping out right now. No, purely because um, it's probably not going to stay out this much longer. In fact, no, actually, I'm pretty sure it is, so I'm going to swap out right now for less. I'm sorry for taking so long to do so, but let's do it. Let's try and obey by my own laws. <laughs> or rules, I should even say, more so than laws. But hey, rules were made for breaking at the end of the day, because if there were no rules, there would be no rules to break. So that's the perspective I can share with you guys on that, never for less. Boom, made it the second time around. Unfortunately, though, I do not like the fact that much, so for less. Frigid Chompies, these guys are going down. Nice and down, they went. You're welcome. I would make a honor reference, but I think you guys have heard enough of those ever first. And I hope you guys love the close up of Pax Mouth right there, because it seems like I got uh, no other way uh, to show you anything else, I suppose. Yeah, the camera in this game can get real cheesy sometimes, the first bit, there's nothing wrong with being cheesy, because cheese is delicious, and now I've made myself hungry, but then again, whatever I say makes myself hungry, because there's so many foods out there, if you say something, no doubt you're referencing some food in some sort of way. Well, that's because this is a cool level. No, I mean, it's cool as in the fact that it's cold, not cool as in the fact that it's a good level. Because this level is the complete opposite of cool, because I do not like it. I hate the ice physics, and everything else, including the puzzles and the combat, is quite boring in this level. So, unfortunately, it is a boring level and not a cool one. The only thing that's cool about it is the weather. And that is me deciding whether or not this is a good level, and the verdict is not, and I hope you guys like the way I did a pun on weather right there, because there's two different types of weather, there's the weather as in, um, the weather outside, so whether that's sunny, or freezing cold like here for instance, and then there's the other weather which shows two different outcomes to one event, seeing whether this or this can happen nevertheless, and the air element, that means we're going to need to bring in swarm nevertheless, so let's... Bring him in without further ado, I should say, because there has been enough of that, so let's end it. I might actually mean redo, of course. So let us bring that sting. Fools thinking they can defeat me like that. Wah! Yeah, that's what you get, silly boy. Now you're gonna destroy too. Yes, I am, even though that's kind of your fault for putting them out on me, dude. If they weren't there to begin with, then I wouldn't be able to destroy them, I suppose, if I'm saying right here. That's not how you spell snow, dude. Not only is noodles um, dumb in everything else, but he's also dumb with spelling, it would seem. Which just, it was just part of everything else, which is why it qualifies, I suppose. Okay, let's get slice and dice of these guys, thanks to the swashbuckling expertise of Swarm. Nice job there, buddy, nevertheless. So we are going to head down, because we did blow something up before, so we may as well claim the fruits of our labour from such a thing. Basically, is what I'm saying right here. 
I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, no punishment. Okay, let's continue on. Continue on. Like that. Cow. So the Luckatron wheel is officially ours. The Luckatron wheel of experience. Has now joined our team. Are we going to equip it at some point? Perhaps. We shall see as always. But unfortunately, the experience orb is not so important in this lock because uh, all of our giants are on level 15s is. But anyway, I'm glad I'm playing a storm right now, mostly because of the fact that he is indeed my favourite giant, as I mentioned about previously. Ooh, a story scroll. Are we going to read much of it, though? Eh, yeah, we may as well get round for it quickly, I suppose, nevertheless. Now, Arkeans have awful memory. It highly reminds me of my own, in all fairness. They have a hard time with things physically below them. Odd as that may seem, it does explain why they generally avoid burying the treasure they acquire. Those who do place treasure in spots requiring a drop in elevation almost always forget about it. Yep, that's me altogether. I can remember stuff uh, uh, to the left of me, to the right of me, and to the... Um, and above me just fine. The thing is, is that with the minute you put something below me, I will forget about it. Venus strength! Even though it was a bit late in that one. My bad. But hey, what matters is that we did it in the end, right? So let's be claiming for Fruits of our Labour once again in the form of this glorious, glorious treasure chest on the west. Oh, and that's glorious to say the least. Oh yeah, one thing I did realise is that we got this guy's soul gem in the previous episode, but we never actually, um previewed uh, it, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go into Scarners of the Air Element first and foremost, and then we're going to place one of the movie, because yes, I do apologise about skipping out on such a thing before, because I did promise you guys that we'd watch all of the movies of all of the characters that were actually in this lock, and Storm is one of them, so we as well go back to the first, which is basically what I'm saying right here, but look at him, how can you not like that guy, that's what makes this guy my favourite giant ever for less. It was a close call between uh, having to call it between Eyebrawl and Swarm, but at the end of the day, I do feel like Swarm is slightly better, which is ironic because when I first got this guy, um, I got like Crusher, Bouncer, and Swarm for Christmas, and Swarm was the one who I was looking forward to the least out of all three, uh, out of all three of them, and it was Swarm who I enjoyed for the least out of all three of them once I got around to playing as all of them, but then, you know, since then, it's been a few years, and I've actually grown to quite like this guy, and I do feel less. I really wish you got a mini in a uh, Scarlet Chat Team, which was meant to be. Back to the water element again, we shall go. So that's going to require from pack, nevertheless. The they shall soon be healing to the whale, nevertheless. And if they don't, then they shall be punished. Just you wait. I thought we were supposed to be warned of being punished, now we're just too awesome to get punished, I suppose. That's basically what I'm saying right here. Aha, take that sucker. Nice. Oh, and here comes the armored mohawk, but is that going to make him any more dangerous than a regular mohawk? Eh, not really, just going to mean he's going to take a few extra hits, that's all. How dare it, Fee? But hey, what does it matter? He's defeated now, and that's what does matter. Damage should take a long way, that's how much damage you, um, is how much you have left, is basically what I'm saying right here. Oh darn, I was kind of thinking we could destroy this thing because we're a giant and normally you destroy it with a bomb, but if you can normally destroy it with a bomb, you can destroy it with a giant, but nope, that was just not meant to be. <laughs> That's a shame we missed out on the Legend of Treasure, but I don't like it, it's that important, mind you, nevertheless. But anyway, there's a little fire area down here, and I'm feeling kind of cool, so it's time for us to warm up. Now, I know I said I ain't going to do any of the elemental gates in this uh, game, but I decided, eh, screw it, let's uh, enter this one, um, just for the sake of it, right? Seems like a bunch of fun, nevertheless. So let's do such a thing, as basically what I'm saying right here. Plus, i got to make this uh, giant lock stand out somehow, right? Yeah, this guy is literally on fire! Things are you heating up burning, nevertheless. For fiery fun, what an interestingly named level, nevertheless. But yeah, I was about to talk about something, but now I can't remember what I was going to talk about. <laughs> Couldn't be anything important in that case, I suppose, because that's what my parents always say whenever I'm about to say something, but then I forget what I'm about to say. The excuses always were well, couldn't be that important then. Which most of the time it probably ain't because most of the stuff growing out of my mouth is complete gibberish anyway. Gibberish that people seem to like listening to, so I got no problems with that whatsoever. Okay, so first things first, uh, we're going to need to first fire up these chompies. I, I don't even know why I'm even wasting my primary attack on these guys, because I could just walk into them and it has the same effect, does it not? But either way, what we do need to do is we need to push all of these uh, bad boys down. 
why the hell are they bad boys? I don't know. I'm just trying to find these things, which is very strange of me, nevertheless. But hey, there's nothing wrong with some good old personification, a great technique to be used in an English language, nevertheless, if you can uh, utilise it correctly, that is. Or even better, if you can analyse the effect of it, which I cannot, which, which is why I suck so much at English, I suppose. Can I push that further? Yes, I can. I'm much better at these puzzles than why I'm at English, to say the least. Okay, so we've got to push this bad boy down right now. Nice, very nice indeed, nevertheless. Okay, so let's try and keep this uh, up, nevertheless. Oh, darn, we need to move this. I completely forgot about that. But hey, it doesn't matter that we forgot about it. Um, now what matters is that we remembered it in the end, which just actually remind me of what I was talking about before, before I completely forgot, and the fact that it doesn't matter how much damage we take along the way, as long as we have health remaining, that's all what matters. So next up, what we need to do is uh, not push that, that was a completely wrong move. No, what we need to do instead is push that so then all of the puzzles line up nicely and the gate can be unlocked from it. Che uh, dude, why are you so fat? Struggle to get through there, generally. Uh, well, it seems like we have an ambush right here to deal with, but I'm sure we'll be able to deal with it just fine enough first. Ooh, an ambush? <laughs> That's just the city of Skylar's imaginations, what do you know? Oh, darn, I didn't even see that guy sneak up on me right there. Okay, watch out. Watch out still. This was a mistake, in case you guys cannot tell. A huge mistake. Okay, hopefully we can still take this guy down. No, this is going better than what I thought it would. Watch out for that. Ah oh, yes, we got him just fine guys, got him, we did, nevertheless. Thank heavens for that, I thought that was going to be the end of us, but the end of us, this was not, so that's good to say the least. And some uh, watermelons we got from that, so that's what's important, because as I mentioned previously, it doesn't matter how much damage we took, what matters is that we survived it in the end. Oh yeah, and if you guys remember that charm from uh, Chapter 3 that we bought, it seems like it's finally being put to good use, considering that it made uh, us... Uh, heal much faster in elemental areas, and as you can see, it's currently in effect by the fact that we are gaining 20 instead of 5. So, yeah, I'm definitely glad we could put such a useful charm to such a useful use. And that's a lot of uses right there, but you guys can't get more uses than me in one sentence. Anyway, we don't need to worry too much about healing further because we're not going to need to use Hothead uh, throughout the rest of the level. Because, as you can see, we need to swap back to Fog Pack without further ado. Yep, Fun Pack definitely seems to be giant of the episode, unfortunately, and I say unfortunately because as you guys will know, he is indeed my second least favourite Earth giant, never first. Well, if you knew that I was going to come down here as part of your trap, why the hell would you put the snowman up there knowing that I would knock it over? Okay, let's crush these guys. Crush them with the might of my crushingness. And crushed they are. Nice. Okay, really want to take this fool down. Nice. Yeah, that's what makes this guy's bite so great, I suppose. Because it's pretty powerful. It's definitely this guy's saving grace, I feel. And I do like a combo as well, but everything else about this guy is just awful. Like, honestly, I don't like how slow and how dull he is, I suppose, especially what I'm saying right here. But he's not as bad as Crush and Everfless, because Crusher is my new least favorite giant. I know I said in the first episode that Fun Pack is my least favorite, but since then I've grown to the, uh, like Fun Pack enough to a point where I like him more than uh, Crusher, at least. Go on, dude, you can do it. This is so annoying, but this is how we got to do it, because I hate that slippery ice ball, because physics in this game just don't want to work, like, ever, pretty much. Okay, so this arc right here, we're going to see if he has anything uh, useful to sell us, probably not, though, because arc never has anything useful to say the least. Well, I say never has anything useful, we found some very useful things from him before. What I mean by that is that he's kind of money bags, uh, for, uh, he's kind of like for basically new money bags, money bags and scars to say the least, purely because he pays overpriced stuff for stuff that isn't necessarily that great to begin with. And I was right, there isn't anything useful here at all, except for maybe the Sky Stones, we'll go ahead and purchase that number first to help us out with our Sky Stones matches. But apart from that, nothing. So let's head back outside. 
and um, complete the level without further ado. Oh no, that was not what I wanted to do, you stupid fun pack. Hashtag blame fun pack because it's actually fun pack's fault. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Here we go, that's much better now, is it not? So let's actually try to not miss a soldier this time and not miss that we did. Hey, what do you know? We're getting fun pack with fun pack. How awesome is that? Nevertheless, pretty awesome. Just answer my own question right now. Blow hard for fun pack. That doesn't sound like an odd name or anything. But hey, let's preview him because being a giant, he is part of a giant lock. I'll tell you what, guys, this is a giant lock of mine. A really giant lock. Good job there, good old buddy, old pal. So let's use a bounce pad once again to bounce a back out on it. Crazy Go on, fun pack, you can do it, dude. Ah, oh, nice, fun pack did it indeed. Oh boy. So now we got to uh, use our own slippery momentum to make our way back up to the top of the ball once again, nevertheless. Nice, we will take that. Thank you very much. And then we'll uh, head uh, out, uh, we'll head ourselves out of here, about time we got out of here. After all, I'm a celebrity, so get me out of here, to say the least. So let's take Fun Pack off right here and place on Ninjini, considering the magic element has now arisen. Any last wishes? No, thank you, I'm good. I don't need to take no last wishes, because the wishes I take will not be my last. Either way, it's time for a... Feed us strength! I said that really uh, weirdly right there, maybe because my vocals are dead, but hey, it'll work so enough for less, I suppose. Nice, let's bring it in. Bring it in, girl! Come on, Ninjini, why are you so drained from this? You didn't even physically put your hands onto the ch chain in it, yet you're tired. Pathetic. They call it feed of strength, but to her it's more of like a feed of magic! There we go, that works. Okay, let's take some fools down. Oh, I forgot you can do the rockets and abs at the exact same time. Okay, that axe is really starting to annoy me now. How dare you buy axe. But hey, it's fine, we've got plenty of treasure coming in, uh, food even, why did I say treasure, I meant food. But yeah, we've got plenty of food coming up, so we should be able to heal up just fine, as you can see from all that delectable deliciousness. Oh, come on, dudes, you can at least offer me a challenge of some sort now, right? It would seem not. Unfortunately, our, um... Days and move doesn't actually work on the heavier enemies, the bigger ones, unfortunately. But hey, we can still uh, utilize it to our advantage of small ones, at least, nevertheless. And we can still slice and dice for bigger guys, which is what matters. Look at that! That guy didn't even have a chance to land here. Can't believe uh, Crash the Sky is containing Genie after that performance, right, guys? But yeah, let's just stick with the fact that Crash the Sky Islands hates Ninjini because he can't play with her very well. Yeah, I didn't know this. Okay, I'm trying to analyze what he just said right now, un for him. And um, that makes no sense grammatically because when you for something, you're melting it. So un for in something is, of course, turns it into the opposite. Um, of what I just said. So that means that basically what he was saying is that he's already been uh, forward, or he's being forward, and that we need to stop it happening, which would basically mean that instead of melting the ice that surrounds him, or he's encased in, it would instead mean that um, we should refreeze it, which is exactly the opposite of what we need to do. So, um, yeah, it seemed like the opposite meaning of what he meant is actually the opposite of what we need to do. That's a lot of opposites. So basically what I'm saying here is that he should have said for him instead of unfor him, because for in him is when we would melt him, and unfor in him is when we stopped him from being uh, melted. Well, I could be completely wrong by that, who knows? That's why I spent a while analysing it. I'm pretty sure I'm right, but I could be wrong. That's no big surprise for me right there if that is the case. So now, let's for this guy. That's right, for him, and not unfor him. And that highly reminds me of the Marvel superhero 4. I'll have to talk about that more on the, um, 
next episode considering that Thor actually has a very interesting trilogy with the, in the MCU and he's an interesting character in it of himself. What have we done to him? We have apparently unfoiled him. Okay, so is he requesting the food flavour of classic noodles, or is he saying that's a bit stupid of noodles? Probably a bit of both, in all fairness. Because that's what we get for having a snow cyclops that uh, happens to be the same name of food. We get confusion. As Chef Pepperjack would say, um, when they say we serve in you, it's confusing in the fact that um, when they're going to cook us up and eat us as a meal rather than serving the food to us, which is basically uh, can be applied to this situation from what uh, Chef Pepperjack said once you meet him in Chef, Pe uh, Chef Zeppelin, that is. So, yeah, I was basically applying what I knew from that cuisine to this here level because I'm smart like that. So yes, tonight on the menu, we serving you. No, not really, we're just uh, serving food, that's it. Because I ain't going to serve you guys, because first of all, I ain't no cannibal, and second of all, I like to be nice. It feels great to be back in my body again. So yeah, enough of Chef Pepper Jack references, because unfortunately, we cannot play a Chef Pepper Jack, because this game is lame. I'm kidding, this game is not lame, but um, I do think it would be better if we could play as well as plus. But hey, that's what we have Skylar's Trap Team for, and Skylar's Trap Team did indeed uh, return one of the boss fights from this um, game into that one, so that's what makes it so glorious, I suppose, with the returning boss fights, and then we can take giant uh, villains from this game and play with them, like, uh um, uh, Trumpy Mage, never guess. But clearly enough has been said and done. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next one, but until then, peace.